Okay, so now we come to kind of using manipulatives in this way that I think is, I mean, I think manipulatives are really powerful and concrete. I love kind of concrete thinking. I'm a very concrete thinker, but it, in this kind of amazing way that I had, I had not thought about before. And with percentages we have now, oops, hold on. There we go. With percentages we have now kind of one manipulative that is representing two quantities or maybe the reality is one quantity but in two different units of measure. For example, in this problem that's in your handout, it says, I know that 100% has a value of 300. For example, there are 300 students in the fourth grade class at Awesomeville Elementary, but that's also 100% of the fourth grade students. So if I'm thinking about using this base block to represent percent, the percentage is 100%, but the value is also 300. Do you guys see that? So this one kind of manipulative block is representing these two things. Now I can then break this down and realize that that means one of my tens is 10%, but that also means it has a value, value of 30, and a unit, which is 1%, has a value of three students, really, right? All these are in students. Okay. So then when I say and go to kind of think about questions around percent, I, it's less abstract and much, much more concrete than any other presentation I've ever seen. We want to use base blocks to find some of these percentages. So it says 23% of the students were born outside the U.S. So A, 23%, how many students is this? So I'm trying to find the value of 23% if I know the overall value of 100%, right? So 23% in base blocks looks like this. But I know from my breakdown above that this is, right, like that's 10%, 10% and 3%, but I know that this also has a value for each of these, I don't know, I keep drawing super large U's, but this has a value of 30, this other 10 has a value of 30, and each of these has a value of 3. So right there, that's 60 plus 9, right? 69 students. Now this is the same answer that you would get if you were to solve this kind of the traditional way, right? When we say 23% of 300, this is really turns into this multiplication problem, 300 times 0.23, and you can do this using kind of this decimal multiplication, maybe let's do lattice multiplication. 0.23. I hope this is going to be big enough for my lattice. Oh, hold on. I have to make this bigger. Sometimes I forget how much room lattice takes. Uh, that is so much better. 0.23. Right? A lot of setup in lattice, but then it's worth it. So I have zero, 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 zero. All these zeros right here, I get zero, six, zero, that's a six, nine. And then my decimal point comes right down here. I should get zero, zero. This is nine. And then six up here. So I again get 69 students out of kind of this multiplication. Okay, so it should give you the same answer, but again, in a much more concrete way, 
where you can visualize the percentage and visualize also the value at the same time. Okay, so will you all try the rest of these like B, C, and D on your own and come bring it to class and we'll talk about it.